<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You're the greatest show on earth. You know I'm not good. It's Chin Snitch Hat from prison today. Yeah, Why is dude. it so obviously different? A obviously, obviously Shin, different. bro. Yeah. That crazy hat, huh? That Shin Shank Redemption. Hat. What are you Shin Shank Redemption? Shin <laughs> <Yeah. Chin> Shank <laughs> Redemption? <laughs> Can you get us stuff into our cells? Yeah, yeah will, like you, uh, will you throw a picture of Chin in there too, Cap, whenever you uh, post a little bit of that moment? Because that is Shin Shank Redemption. Either start right fucking there. skateboarding for us or sneak us, Brooks some, was here. Seek, seek us some fucking shanks. Yeah, huh? All right. <laughs> okay. just went hard. <laughs> Chin just went, all right, man. Fuck it. Okay, just went hard in the paint with Chin. Dude, there's just Baza. You got a new battery in yours? Ah. I don't know. It's pretty hype. Yeah, it's a little better. I think it's back, dude. Did you guys fix that shit? Nobody fixed anything, Asking bro. you shall That's receive, the Lord. bro. I prayed, I prayed about it. Dude, you, you know what? You look different. You're dressing different. Really? I saw a picture of you on Stanford's campus. Oh, yeah. I went to Stanford. Two questions. Okay. The fuck were you doing on Stanford campus? <laughs> you should not be allowed on that campus. This they, Tiger Woods grounds. Okay? Oh, look, they Michelle have, Wee. Is it Michelle Wee? Yeah, bro. Wow. Maybe a guy named Ed McCaffrey. John yeah. Elway, bro. Donnie McCaffrey, dude. Nobody here ever heard about Donnie McCaffrey, dude. The son, all yeah. the McCaffreys. The other there. third, that third McCaffrey, bro, worked at the uh, in the in the McCaffrey Teria. And nobody, he wasn't doing any athletics, Except making bro. McRibs. Oh, he was in there making McRibs and fucking, McFilet, you know. bro. Yeah, just huffing off, uh, taking huffs, uh, hit, hits off of those, uh, uh, off of pudding cans. <laughs> what were you doing there, though? Dude, I went to Stanford. A friend of mine, this man Harrison Phillips, he plays for the um, Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia. Shout and out to so, Bills Mafia. Shout out to Bills Mafia. And he played. he plays defensive tackle. First of all, <clears throat> white guy playing defensive tackle. Big boy. Yeah, you should get three points for even having one of those players on your team. Oh, I agree. At the beginning of the game, uh, you should you should get at least get a few wins ahead of everybody yeah, else. Yeah, definitely. If you have a white defensive tackle, wow, in America, in America, come on, bro. bro. But you're damn right, Buffalo drafted him. Yeah, Buffalo's like <laughs> Utah true. Jazz. Yeah. They go down, they go, white dude, we'll take him, yeah. we'll take him. Yeah. One thing I learned while I was there on on the campus, they only have seven thousand undergrad students at Stanford. And then they have 7,000 post-grad students on campus Damn. at the same time. Did Isn't you that crazy? Did you, did you think you got a little smarter just being around them? Oh, dude. And drinking had, the water? Well, people kept looking at me strange, and uh, and then I would be like, oh, I'm just looking for some books. And the people were like, oh, okay. You know, like, like, no, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Because you look different. I feel like you might be a little smarter. Really? I bet they were looking at you like, who the fuck let this pedophile on the campus? I did hold hold on to a stack of books for someone who's going down a uh, like a handicap ramp for a minute. Young lady, I bet too. It could have been either man. They don't like you to say man or woman there on campus. Them kids are there to study. A human, yeah. And get oh, they have emergency libraries. If you're scared or something, dude, you can hit a button uh, or like they'll have like a little branch on a tree and you kind of pull it and a couple of books will pop out. <laughs> yeah. Just so to calm me down, like oh god, yeah, 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 yeah oh yeah. god. Yeah, it was crazy, man. One guy got real nervous. Uh, we gave some guy a ride across campus, and he accused us of hazing because the music was too loud in the car. You guys are going too fast. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah, used to that crazy. shit there, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to solve the world's problems. Can you imagine going to school there, reading books, getting sucked? Yeah. It's great, dude. No, I'd, yeah, it'd be good, bro. Great. Dude, how many, What's if you had to name four books that you've read, what are they? Oh, well, I'm reading right now. I'm dying up here. The Book of the Comedy Store. Okay. I read a lot of books, bro. I know you do. Yeah. I'm not saying that. You're just saying books in general? Yeah. Well, I'm dying up here, born standing up, sick in the head. That's not a book, dude. Sick in the head, Judd Apatow. It is? Yeah. Oh, God. Teach you how to be a pussy. Thud Apatow, yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I don't need Later, that guy. Toad. Yeah. <laughs> Later, Toad. Bro, dude. I, I would never cast him in an episode of this podcast. That's for damn sure, no. bro. I when people go, dude, you guys need to get this guy in the King of the Sting. Bro, are you blind? If you're blind... The, Listen, no hate. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any guests. What are you talking about? Yeah, that is so true. Dude, get this guy on King of the Sting. I'm like, yeah. have you ever seen a guest? No? <laughs> are you blind? Well, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, some kid the other day was like, y'all got to get Zion Williamson on King in the Sting. Oh, let me call him up. <laughs> yeah, let me call him up and get him on it. Let me rip Zion's fucking drip with Theo real quick. Dude, it just, uh, yeah, some of the stuff we get is crazy. But that's what I did. I went to Stanford. Dude, I was in San Jose. We had eight shows, man. Bro. Crazy, bro. Don't, fucking, touch don't me. fucking touch me, dude. Even though you're rich now. Rich? What are you talking about? This shirt is from Twillery, one of our sponsors. Dude, no, you got that at Stanford. Huh? Did you get that bookstore at Stanford? I heard they sell polos and books. Dude, the bookstore is huge. There were people camping in there. There were people, their families had been in there. You know, there were families just walking around. Some kid was washing his, had made like a little, like a 
like a kind of like a campsite and they were washing up. Dude, I hope that uh, like scheme's still going on so I can pay for my son to go to Stanford. Oh, at Stanford? Yeah, ho- hopefully everyone doesn't snitch on everyone so I can fucking <laughs> put my son into Stanford for 200 G's. Dude, They're being bitches, bro. 200, bro, for $40 you can get a lo- in a Louisiana State University. So That's a hard pass. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, bro, 220s, dude? Yeah, that's not bad. Get in there, well, get LSU your kid Tigers? in there, bro, yeah. And Lu- your son's Louisiana named Tiger. Tig- that dude, you drop. You're smarter from bro, Stanford, t- bro. Bro, let me tell you this. If your son, I don't know how you're going to do it, ends up with some type of strong capability, right? Okay. Yeah. Actually, athletic capability he could have. He's a freak. That's the one gift you probably have given probably him, dude. Down. Hopefully he has his mom's kind of friendly genes. Yep. And yeah. then he has your Not athletic capability. Asshole. Yeah. The kind tiger, bro. He will be... The kind tiger. If he plays for the Tigers, t- bro, it would be... Unprecedented or Missouri? We go on Sizzler. Oh, dude, you're gonna own a Sizzler. Yeah, dude, you're right, Theo. And you, yeah, and if you're gonna get paid to play, man, LSU, that's where they're doing that at right now. So everywhere. yeah, all those SEC schools pay very well. I heard very, very well. Dude, well. you won't pay for a McNugget. That's what I remember being there and uh, one of the basketball players. I was like, "Are they paying y'all?" He said, "Look, man, I ain't paid for a McNugget in two years." He ain't lying either. And he ain't lying. That's how they do it. That's how SEC keeps it the rolling. The McRib bro. is back year round ah, down there. I love a McRib. Rib. Dude, everybody got some McRib. God damn. Dude. So, what about you, man? Where were you at this weekend? Oh, Milwaukee, huh? Milwaukee. How was it? Uh, different. Yeah? Different. I thought it was an all-white city, mm-hmm. and I've been um, actually educated. That's actually one of the most diverse cities. A lot of Indians there. Or Dians, they call them. Nope, nope. A lot of <laughs> African Americans, mainly. AFAM. Yep. yep. You, actually, uh, someone sent me statistics. More African Americans than Chicago, Ooh. which I found surprising. It's pretty cool. Found, I had no idea. That I brought Derek Poston, who's a hilarious comedian. And he's mixed, too. He's he, at Cafe de Color. Yeah, you know? he's a little caramel. He's Guatemalan or something. Yeah, he's caramel. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he is caramel. And then uh, Asan Ahmad, who's also a, a comedy store door guy. So it was. It, we were cultural. Oh yeah, you got to sound cultural as hell, dude. Yeah, dude. And, and I look Mexican, so we oh, got yeah. weird looks. That Foster family. Looks. You guys look like a damn Foster family. Yeah, we look like the movie Four Brothers. <laughs> yeah, but there's only three of you. Yeah, but there's three. But that would be your math, so yeah, perfectly. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You could have been, like, hey, huh? been the fourth. You could have been the fourth. Uh uh. But no, Couldn't do it, Milwaukee dude. was dope, though. Bro, um, I was in San Jose. That city's diverse, man. Diverse Shh. with Asians. Bro, the all Me- the Asians in the world are in San Jose. Bro, all types too, man. They dude. got everything. Japanese ginger soy. Dude. Bro, they had wasabi. I oh, dude, bul- 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 bulgogi. <laughs> you know, or bulba. What's that juice called? You the guys used to drink? Yeah, bulba. Bulba. Yeah, yeah bulgogi is, but yeah, bulgogi is actual cream meat. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's cream meat, Korean meat. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, that bulgogi. <laughs> they got wa- wagyu's walking around there. They oh, got, yeah, they got that wagyu. Got boy. that wagyu. People, it was wild, man. Yeah, and they Milwaukee, had, not so much, bro. Dude, the Mexican national soccer team was staying at motel. Really? So there was all types of like uh, of football fans outside, like beating drums. I mean, it was insane. Like their their wow. national Die-hard. team, bro. Oh, yeah. It was crazy, man. Damn. So it was a better uh, weekend than me, dude. Well, I, I mean, uh, yeah. It was a good time for, for all, I think. It was good. Yeah, I think it was a good time for all, dude, man. Dude, uh, I'm shooting the opening of my comedy special this, or I think next week. Oh, next week? Oh, yeah. Shooting the opening for it, right? Oh, good, man. Congrats, dude. Thanks, brother. Your first one, what's it going to be called? Oh, wait, I know what it is. Um, uh, l- watch me. Watch me. No, nope, try again. Uh, let me try. Hold on. I know what it is. It is... Uh, Not CT included. Let, let me see. Uh, uh, let's... S- do you think you can dance? Is that it? No. <laughs> I wish. That would be dope to have a great name. Shop, do you think you can dance yeah. comedy special? It'd be hilarious. Bro, <laughs> the, the, your next closer should be just you dancing to fucking music on stage. I will watch that all No, day. I open with that, bro. Oh, yeah, I open sorry. with that. Uh, you'd be surprised, bro. You'd be surprised. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get on let's, to this let's show, Let's do dude. this, bro. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Boo. Boo. <laughs> you guys want to do some current events? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure, Chin. This Just is don't snitch one. on us when you get out of here. Yeah, right. bro, Brooks was here. I promise I won't. <laughs> this is a friend. It's going to take a man 600 years to get out of this small hat. <laughs> but Chin Sun Yi did it in less than five Chin-Sun-Yi. hours. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. All right, this is friends. Don't let the sisters get you to your Chin. <laughs> yeah, Fran don't Belibi. let the sisters get you, Chin. <laughs> Jeez. 
For anyone believe me, she's a high school student, and she's the second girl ever to win the McDonald's <laughs> All-American Dunk Contest. It's an all-women's dunk contest? I believe it is, but I don't and know why it says it's only the I'd second woman ever. I'd rather you pierce my dick than watch a women's all-dunk oh, contest. Damn, bro, what? <laughs> is it an eight-foot rim? That's the thing. It doesn't make sense. This article doesn't say anything about guys being in it, but if it's only the second person ever that's a girl, it's just, it has to be open to everyone, Dude, right? a female dunk contest is called layups, bro. First of all, I think is what it's <laughs> called, right? And first of all, why are they making women? And dunk for fucking McDonald's. Yeah, well, they, this they is, talk about the Me Too movement. That's sexist, God. man. And it's on an eight foot rim, chin, or is it ten? There's no way it's ten foot and you have a dunk. It's a regular under. high school rim. Holy shit, I see this. Mm-hmm. Oh! Yeah. She jumped over someone God sitting damn. down. She put her arm in the rim, bro. And look, she got mugged after. <laughs> Are you sure that's a, that's a 10 foot rim chin? Whatever high school. Are they on steroids? <laughs> whatever high school rim is. She's 6'1. First of all, taking a grandmother's name, Dude, okay? Offensive. Fran. Fran. And dunking is about the most G thing you can do, okay? Holy you shit. You know who, who's who's dunking next? Estelle. You know what I'm saying? Who's dunking next? Barbara. Gertrude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Gertz up You're there. You're going to alley oop the Groot Groot Yeah, Groot Trude. Wow. Groot <laughs> I can't remember a word he just said. I don't like some of the, uh, I don't think they should make women dunk from McDonald's. I think they should be able to be served no matter what. And I so agree. that's what my thoughts are no, on this. You know what? In order for them to get breakfast all day, they have to dunk first. That's oh, now I that's heard. fair. I think, that's fair. Yeah. I think the hash any, browns? Yeah. Oh, put a. Yeah. Dude, you want a McGriddle? Oh, dude. Better dunk, bitch. Yeah, bro. You better McFly. Dude, I love the idea of dunking from McDonald's. Put a, Now I want it. I want a 10 foot rim out front. And uh, and you dunk out there, and then you get the snack that you want. I like that. That'd I'll be do awesome. Some, I'll do some shit for McRib. Now, how tall are you though? Because she's shorter than you, and she can dunk. Oh, I can dunk too. Theo. Can you really? Yeah, I can. Wow, look at I've that. I've never seen girls dunk like this ever. Has anyone in here? It makes yeah, me has a little. Has this been going on forever? I feel old now. No, 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 no. There's only uh, a couple women have done it. They had a woman at, uh, at LSU Jones. did it. They had a woman. No, Leslie Jones isn't a comedian. No, she looks like she could dunk, though. I know. I thought she could Oh, dunk. she might be able to dunk. Yeah, yeah she's in Ghostbusters, her. and she dunked. Yeah, that's true, dude. Yeah. I could see that easily <laughs> yeah. dunking. Yeah. Um, wow, Fran. That's Fran's crazy. doing the damn thing. Turns but, out there was men, too, in this competition. So. And the woman beat them? Because she got perfect scores for all four of her dunks. See, that I didn't like, because I don't think that... Just because... That's what I don't like sometimes. Just because it's a dunk... You get the ten, mm. dude. Here's the thing, though. The dunk, Can't, the second dunk, dude. Any, you know, was she, it a dunk? Wasn't it a dunk? <laughs> she became the second female player to win the dunk contest. So it's and men and women are competing, yeah, and yeah. they picked the wo- woman. Yeah. Candace Parker won before though, two thousand four. You ever seen Candace Parker? Oh yeah. She can get it. Candy Park Park, beautiful. <laughs> but once you get to the WNBA, it's like watching every every time I turn the game on, it's like, oh, everybody's Latrell Sprewell. That's the vibe I get. It's like he's playing every I'd wa- position. I'd rather watch Theo try and read a book than watch fucking WNBA. Okay. Well, I've definitely read way more books than you, Come brother. On, bro. Who are you lying to, bro? Dude, you're you lying to, to everybody college. around. No. You didn't even go to college. Okay. Your, you... your mom's home reading doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, bro. Your mom gave you just the cliff notes, and you thought they were novels at the time. <laughs> bro, some of the cliff notes very long. They are too long. Very long. It's going to be cliff notes. <laughs> shorten them up. Yeah. But shorten them up, cliff notes. Dude, I'm going to jump off and, a cliff. Yeah, if these... fuck you, cliff. Yeah. How about that, cliff? Bridge to Terabithia. Fucking tighten it up, Yeah, man. make it easier. The Bible cliff notes, make it easier. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving, let's man. Let's move on, Chin. All right, the biggest news. Jussie Smollett. All of his criminal criminal charges were dropped by the Cook County. This is Chicago being like, dude, we have 70 dudes dying every minute on the south side. We have way bigger shit to worry about. But also, Jesse said, here's 100K, yep. let me off. Chicago went, cool, get the fuck out of our city. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of this. There's been all kind of stuff of this over the decades. You know, a lot of guys get off in this, and a lot of different racial crimes on both sides of the net. Mm-hmm. And Jesse playing every side of the net. He's black, white, gay. He's Muslim, gay, not gay, make America, don't make America. Pick a side, you know, bro. Yeah, he's just... Taking a knee, standing up. Yeah, dude, he's in a wheelchair. Every time you look at this guy, he's got a different thing going on. He tried to hire Atticus Finch as his fucking attorney. This guy's out of his mind, man. He's crazy. Lost I, his career, too. I don't know if he lost his career. Oh, uh, Empire was like, we're all set. Oh, well, I think it's just a shame. I think he has an ego problem, and I hope that he finds some way to heal it. I don't know what he's going to do. But he, I think, I just hope that he, you know, uh, that he helps figure that out for him. Because it looks like he's still riding his lies, but... That hundred grand, you put your money where your mouth is, and he paid that hundred grand to get out of there. Good deal. 
Yeah. 100 G's? They gave him a good deal. I think Chicago's like, get this Hollywood shit out of our city. I think they I just agree. got They're tired. Like, Dude, we got way bigger fish to fry. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Everybody dying here, bro. Yeah. We got the winter. It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Kanye won't shut the fuck up. The yeah. bulls suck. Oh, the bulls are bad, Meanwhile, man. he's trying to suck dudes off. They just can't have it, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't meet a man at a subway. Like, look, man. At 2 in the morning? Yeah. I run to anyone in the subway at 2 in the morning. I just assume I'm getting sucked. Somebody's definitely vacuuming, you know? <laughs> All right, let's move along, dude. Justy don't deserve any more of our chatter. Nope. All right, Papa John's. The new face of Papa John's is going to be Shaquille O'Neal. Dang. As their board member. I'll tell you what, the worst pizza in the world. I love Shaq. The worst pizza. If you give me Pizza Hut, which we've gone over, mm -hmm. great facility. Mm -hmm. They got the tight Pizza Hut dome, Those right? The pans are nice. The pan, you're right, bro. The deep dish, bro. They are good. You're on one today. Stanford Show, me, Stanford yeah. for Educating Field. So you got Pizza Hut. We love the setup of it. Domino's, oh my God, with extra sauce, brilliant. Papa John's. Get the fuck out of my face. Papa Murphy's? You ain't in... That's fucking... First of all, Papa Murphy was a stepfather. It should be Stepfather Murphy's. And he also worked at the church. So, you know what I'm saying, boy? It's that, that, that That's the slice that'll reach down and touch your nuts while you're lighting a candle, you know? <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is this, bro. <laughs> Let's don't deny that Papa John's, all it is, is basically just a piece of bread that serves you two uh, banana peppers. That's yeah. all it is, yeah. dude. It's, it's called like crazy bread, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Don't call... Don't tell... Tell us crazy bread's fucking pizza, man. Yeah, it's like, hey, you just paid $19 for two peppers and some bad bread underneath <laughs> it. Dude, a lot of times I'll eat the peppers and just close the box, Me man. too. I just the peppers. I feel pretty good about myself, too. And now Papa John, the original Papa John, was throwing the N-word around. Yeah, but look, to get dude, rid of him. everybody's... He, he did it on a conference call, though. That, that's that's when you know you're a narcissist. When you don't think anyone gets off that phone, be like, "Fuck this, dude! I recorded that." You Everybody end bombs talking about cheese and parmesan all yeah, the goddamn yeah, day. Yeah, Can't bro. have this, man. Yeah, bro. Everybody knows if you're gonna use the M word, you use it one on one with somebody. You of know what I'm course, saying? That ain't bro. that conference call drop, bro. You don't conference do that. call. God damn, bro. You can't man. be selling pizza dropping M bombs, yeah. dude. I mean, now, if you, but also, if there was a dope ass pizza place in an urban neighborhood and they were throwing the M bomb out there with every pie, I might go get one. Oh, me you too. Know? Like if they called me the N word as oh, I yeah. grabbed the pie, I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'll come back tomorrow. Dude, there's a place in uh, Chicago called, uh, you know, Mr. Weenies or something. And you go over there and they have a couple of, um, Unique women in the back, and they'll call you all types of names. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, they'll call you. They'll go like, get Cracker. that weenie. Oh, get that weenie little. Uh, and they use the f word, you know. Fucker. Fajo, you know. Oh. Fajot. Oh, oh, word. And word. right when you pick it up, they'll be like, "Ooh, we got that weenie." You oh, know. Damn. Oh, damn. See, I like that. And they will call you every name, bro. Dude, there's a there's a place it's in part LA. of their thing is called Wiener Circle. That's what it's oh, called. Oh, damn, I like that. And it's not to be confused, too. not to be confused with the Shinley Park Golf Course up there in Pittsburgh, where men <laughs> drive around and meet each other out there by that sand. Trap. Yeah, they ain't the same thing. Weenie I'm trying circle. to get a nice deep dish, maybe a Sicilian slice. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, there's a place in LA you can go, and they just fuck. You can get a mixtape too, deep oh, yeah. dish and a mixtape, and they'll drop an M bomb for you. Oh, I like it's that. It's a good deal, man. Well, you know, look, if there's no racism in the air, man, then the food ain't that good. And I've always said I've that. Always said What's that next, too. Chin? This homeless dude from West Palm Beach. Oh fuck yeah! Offered to. That guy looks like Don Flamenco from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> the guy looks like me <laughs> okay. in 40 years. Can we bring up a Don Flamenco yes, picture really we can. quick? He does look like him. If Don Flamingo got way older and did a lot of blow, bring it up, Chin. I'm, I'm gonna make you it. fucking. I'm gonna make you build a library down in the basement <laughs> of the prison. I'm gonna make you write notes so we get a library. Okay, there we go, right there. He does look like him. Good reference, bro. Thank you very much. It's dude, really the Stanford's only reference. Stanford's really paying off, man. Thank you, man. It's the water, man. <laughs> yeah, it, dude. Oh, I drank two gallons right out of the fucking. Uh, you got to out of the water fountain when I was there. And you should have started licking the kids. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, dude, I was about to steal a pint of blood from one little fella. God, I just suck his neck. Get yeah, the blood out, that bro. Vamp, uh, that vamp stamp. That vamp. Get that Stanford blood. What are you trying to say, Chin? Get so through what it. I'm saying. <laughs> this guy actually offered to pay five hundred dollars to have sex with a few people. Okay. He okay. gave him the money. It sounds like a good deal to me. He said one or more. There was like four people he was talking to. So he said at least one person shows up. Here's the 500 bucks oh, to have sex. That's, oh, that's a deal. lot of money. To meet at a day's she end. She must have been hot, though. Must have been. For 500? For 500. So he had her professional. She didn't show up and he called the cops? I think they're just regular people. Yeah, it's America, bro. Anything over $275, you 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 know, you usually kind of are getting what you pay for visually. Mm. Yeah. If you're looking at JPEGs and you know, if you're on adult friend search. 
Yeah, if you're on the back page and you're looking to, you know, land some nice tail for 275, you're out your goddamn mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you can't look. I've bartered. I've gotten on those sites high on drugs and tried to barter with people. You know, and it saved thirty dollars here, twenty five dollars here, and it's worth. They get pissed, dude. That's like nickel and diming a tattoo artist. You, <laughs> yeah, you get what, what you get, what you pay for. You don't want to do that with a prostitute. Oh, bro, I, for a professional, I'm not trying to negotiate the yeah, price yeah, down. Yeah. If it's a thousand dollars and she agrees to two hundred, she ain't coming looking like a thousand dollar hoe. You know Dude, what I'm for eighty dollars one time, somebody drove by and shot all the windows out in the front of my apartment. Uh, and I'd so, do that right now. And made me Venmo them, dude, and I Venmoed them fast, bro. You know, because I only had a couple more windows on the back side of my place, man. I was like, I gotta fucking have some glass in the Dude, house. But this guy, man, you mean being American? So he paid hardcore. Tell cash. us what happened, Chin. Get through. <laughs> and then he it. called and got. Did they they arrested him? Well, Chin they never showed us. Up, so he, he called the police. Shot. That they took his money, so of course the police arrested him for soliciting prostitution, and uh, he was able to post bail, which sounds weird too because he's homeless. I guess he's homeless. Palm Beach, Florida, no one's homeless. You ever been to Palm Beach? Well, it's be so beautiful outdoors that if homeless you're outdoors, means you don't have a fucking six bedroom house. Yeah, homeless means you just don't feel like looking up at the sky. But <laughs> yeah. it's beautiful there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Everybody's, a, you know, I mean, that's fucking this poor guy though. This oh. fucking poor guy. That's Mother Nature's taint, dude. Florida. Beautiful area. Here's an ad from the King of the Sting. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission free. While other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, Theo. So you can trade stocks and keep all of your money. Plus, there's an account. A no account minimum deposit needed to get started so you can start investing at any level. It's so simple. The design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and your experts. Oh, experts, you rang. Yes, you can view easy to understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Damn, just four? You can also view stock collections such as the 100 most popular. And? And with Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, get custom notifications for price movements. You're never going to miss it, man. You can invest. Robinhood has given the listeners King and the Sting a free stock like Apple, Ford, Ever heard of it, Theo? Yeah, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. You can sign up at kingsting.robinhood.com. That is kingsting.robinhood.com. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. You know, Theo, when you're selling online, man, getting your orders can be a real pain. Oh, yeah, it's tough. Some people get orders and it's nothing in the box or <sighs> there's a hat and they, didn't, they don't even have a head. Yeah, it's time consuming. It's expensive. You, you're trying to pick one. It's exhausting, man. That's why you guys need to get on ShipStation.com. Yep. ShipStation helps you get orders out quickly, save money on shipping costs, and keep your customers happy. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, your own website, ShipStation brings you all your orders into one simple interface. That's right. Amazon, Etsy, whatever. It makes them really easy to manage from any de any device, and you can manage them on your cell phone. Even your cell phone, dude. That's how easy it is. With, when we do King and Sting merch... We use in ShipStation. Yep. ShipStation works with all of the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon Fulfillment. So you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. They even offer big discounts on shipping costs, whatever you need, man. No wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. You ship more in less time with the best rates Possible. Yep, you always know that you're getting the best deal with ShipStation. No wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. Number one, bro. Yep, you'll ship more in less time with the best rates available. And right now, King of the Sting listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use promo code CATS. That's K-A-T-S. There's absolutely no risk. You can start your free trial without even entering your credit card info. Wow. That's amazing. A lot of companies won't let you do that. I know, But man. they do. Just visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in K-A-T-S. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter promo code K-A-T-S. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Ooh. Trying to keep the lights on. What else we got, Chen? Uh, do you want to jump into King or Sting It? Sure, man. All right. Direct this boat, bro. Just don't snitch on us. King or Sting It. <laughs> All right. First one... It's from... What no. are the buzzers for again? Just life? Yeah. Uh, All right, get to it, Chad. from No Name. Enjoy. 
Hey, what's up, Theo? Gang, gang. Gang, boy. All right, I got a king or the singer for you guys. Chubby Chasers. Uh, your opinion on that? Thin little chicks dating big old burly looking guys. Or skinny guys <laughs> no, I know they dating are, bro. fat chicks. What are your guys' opinion on that? Me, personally, I don't get it. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I, I, I mean, I would fuck a bigger chick, but, I mean, there's a limit, yo. Some of these guys, they, they want to just raise double their weight. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Oh, my bad, <laughs> <Okay>. Casanova. <laughs> yeah, my bad, skinny Casanova. Hey, homeboy. Hey, yeah. homeboy. You're the chubby one out of the chubby chase relationship. Oh. News alert. <laughs> Yeah, bro. In my opinion, bro, I don't get it, man. <laughs> hey, here's a fucking, yeah. a fucking, let me wake you up fucking real yeah. quick, bro. If the person running is behind you, then you're the one getting chased, bro, okay? <laughs> let me tell you this. The description, first of all, thank you, young man, for sending a submission, and we buzz, appreciate buzz, it, man. Baby. You seem like a, a good guy. I hope I opened your eyes up, though, a little bit, bro. But you got to say this, though, man, look. <laughs> A, a, a small, skinny girl dating a big, burly man is a molester, bro. That is a different thing, the way you described it. Yeah. Can we go to the beginning where he describes it again, Chin? It's the very His beginning. description's very strange. Yes. Let's hear it. I think he's confused on just life. Hey, what's up, Theo? Gang, gang. All right, I got a king or the singer for you guys. Chubby Chasers. Uh, your opinion on that? <laughs> Thin little chicks dating big old burly looking guys. Okay, stop it there. Big old okay. burly? Thin little chicks are children, bucko. Okay? Yeah. Thin little chicks? Yeah, dude, yeah. What the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, bro? what are you, you, Sanderson Farms, bro? You messing with thin little what chicks? Are you, Kevin bro? Spacey? Don't what is it, Picky you in Mississippi, bro? You got to tighten up, man. You messing with them little birds, You can't daddy. be throwing those, those vo that vocabulary out there like that, man. But here's the thing, man. I say there's two types of uh, everything evens out. So, yes, if you get a, you know, a lot of times if you have more of a Ruben esque woman, more of that 17 hundreds body style then those women are more sexual more they're more loving you know you get more you know they'll be patient they'll hug you while you while you don't have an erection you know what i'm saying you get a lot more support they can cook too and yeah and you got that you got might have that snack you might have you know you got more of a teammate where if you get that lean gene you know sometimes you know a girl that's real too lean it's like you know, like I, I've said it before, it's like making love to a, a pillowcase full of deer antlers. Or you a know? crowbar. Yeah, it's, it's like, like sleeping next to a cold crowbar. Yeah, it's like, like you want some some shelter, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to hug a crowbar at night, dude, you're a fucking wet bandit. Yeah, you're you know sad. what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, you're yeah, wet you're sad. bandits, bro, from home alone. Dude, you ever hug somebody that's real skinny, bro? It feels like you're taking a test. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, It feels like third year biology. It's kind of, it isn't the same. It's not fun. It feels like you're ma making love to a greyhound. Dude. Yeah, and I like sometimes like, you gotta, you know, you get a little more babe pig in the city, you know, and you get that, you know, yeah. you get a warm bird. And that's, yeah, that's a, that's a Pig in a blanket, as I call it. Yeah, that pig in a blanket. Nothing wrong with a pig in a blanket, baby. Yeah, so I think you just got to think about it, you know? There's a... Uh... But also, I think he really needs to think about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, he was having a heat stroke, first of all, during the middle of the thing, which was baffling to me. But, but hey, I'll man. I'll say King Chubby. Yeah, I'll say, look, Ain't man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little extra. And we got to define Chubby because... His standards are kids, which I, I don't like to touch on. <laughs> but I, I, my standards, I, I like curvy women. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind a woman that has a little bit of like a uh, an on-ramp, you know? <laughs> All right, next one's from Mitch. That thigh way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you. That three-piece fucking dark meat. All right, this is Mitch huh? from Fort... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like a fucking gun that doesn't, that was not like test proven by any companies, bro. Like a bullet just starts coming out of it and he has no clue what it's gonna fucking be yeah, every time I'm Brendan like a starts shotgun. a sentence. It's a shotgun. Yeah. I'm a musket. Yeah. I'm a musket, bro. Bro, Brendan starts a sentence, has no fucking clue Zero idea. where it's I going. I just throw it out, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm a musket. I'm a musket <laughs> like your haircut. Looks like someone just shot you in the head. Aim small, miss small, son. Yeah, bro. Okay. You're a sniper. Fucking pipe what you down got? from far away, boy. <laughs> This is Mitch. What do you got, Chin, huh? What are you I shaking this, fucking I... extra rocks out of your pant Damn. leg? Fucking what are you making, chest pieces? <laughs> yeah, get your shit together, dude. Jeez. Okay, Brooks was here, boy. All right, Mitch from Fort Polk, <laughs> Louisiana. Oh, yeah, up in there in Anacoka. you on, Brennan? <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, yeah, buzz. King, I'm it for you. I'm out here in Fort Polk, Louisiana. 
them two wheel haters, motorcycles. Bang. Ooh. Know. Buzz, buzz, gang, gang. Two wheels to heaven, baby. Two wheels to heaven. Now, you take the lead. People here. get fucked up on motorcycles. So mm -hmm. I, it's usually frowned upon. I have a son. I'd never want him to ride a motorcycle. I don't want to ride a motorcycle. But when I'm in traffic on that 405 and it's dead stop traffic, and then some little fucking rice rocket goes, cru uh, no racist, <laughs> when a fucking rice rocket goes or flying. Or Rasta rocket, too. It's black guy. It's Jamaican. Rasta as well. rocket. Uh, pasta rice rocket, rocket Italian. Pasta rocket. You know? Fucking uh, acai rocket for Brazilians. Yeah. Um, um, koala yeah, that, rocket for Australia. You know? That acai rocket. That acai rocket, baby. So and when they fly by me and I'm stuck in traffic, yeah. dude, I want one. I'll even jump on the back and be a oh. bitch. Really? You'll never feel, feel gayer than when you jump on the back of a bike and another man's driving it. That's happened to me before. I don't think it feels I've gay. never felt gayer. You when you're going it feels nuts like you have a strong... to butt. No, when you're going nuts to butt and that power that motorcycle is rocking you like this. You don't have to make your face like that while you do it. And you're hanging on like this and you don't have a helmet and the wind's in your face and then you got a boner going down the 405. What, bro? I don't think what you're, I think you're on a date, it sounds like. Okay. You're right, bro. It was, he picked me up and was like, dude, are you hungry? I was like, yeah, I actually am. And then I jumped on the back of his bike and then we went and ate dinner and then he took me home. Dude, that was a date. Ain't hey, nobody on the back of this bike paying for a McNugget. God, That's what dang, I'm saying, you're right, boy. Bro. You're right. Yeah, dude. It sounds like you don't know what's going on. Yeah. First of all, I don't think if you're holding on to a man on the back of a motorcycle that has any uh, sexual connotation. Have I you ever done it? Huh? Yeah, I've done it. It makes me feel like, oh, I have a strong friend that I can trust and that I can rely on. Yeah, you know? Yeah. It's not. I think it could mean anything. It could mean you're trying to go and save money and you don't have gas money. The whole time I'm holding on to the guy, I feel like, man, I'm just glad I'm saving money on gas. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, if you're on a motorbike and the 405, that's that 40 Thrive, boy. You fucking fly to that thing, bro. You could be in Van Nuys and fucking two blinks of a fucking... feel like the Green Hornet down Oh, and two blinks of a large eyeball, you could be in fucking Van Nuys, <laughs> boy. Um, but yeah, there's something there's something special about being on a, on, on, on a motorcycle. And I'm not good at them, man, so I don't trust myself on them. Have you had one? I have. I, I, I actually won one one time in a raffle, you know, because my family, a lot of raffle shit. winners in my family over the years, and, and I won one, and I sold it immediately, bro. They dropped it off, and uh, they dropped it off, bro. <laughs> and we tried to take it down the street, and we fucking crashed, crashed it. it. Yeah. So, so I shut it down right it. there. Yeah. I, I was, uh, I had the, the option to win one. In the last fight I ever fought in the UFC, the winner of that fight was sponsored by Harley Davidson. Got to mm -hmm. pick any Harley Davidson bike you wanted. Mm -hmm. I got beat up, so I didn't get the bike. <laughs> gang, gang, yeah, man. Well, yeah. it happened for a reason though. God went, nah, give him the bike. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna king motorcycles. But your hair looks like you've been on motorcycles for decades, which <laughs> I know, is crazy, bro. bro. Like, a, they, like I'm a grease. <laughs> oh, what do they call it? The, a grease. A greasers. Greasers. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Or just a grease. Or just grease. Yeah. Um, you could use actually a little. No. Yours is a little dry, huh? Bro, you and I you are... got damaged here, bro. You and I are... got damaged roots. You and I are... You got split ends. <laughs> are you got split ends. I do you have... split ends. I have some. I can see them from here. We are... Well, yeah. quit looking, creep. What else we got? Are oh, you just king or single yeah, motorcycles, king? dude? Huh? I'm that haircut? Here's the thing, man. Um, Here's what... I... What are you doing? King. I'm going to king it because <laughs> okay. I like... I like Because I'm jealous of them when they go down on those fucking acai rockets down the middle of the lane. Um, I'm not good at making decisions on the fly, so motorcycles are not good for me. Dangerous. However, my sister received was a liver recipient. She received an organ wow. when she was young, and most organ donors are motorcyclists who die in accidents. So shout so, out to motorcycles. Yeah, but it's a brave move. But whenever you die, just know that you guys, your organs go somewhere good. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna king them. Awesome. I like that, dude. Oh, here's this guy, bro. This guy. <laughs> this is Chip. Who's this guy? And Chip Manicoka, bro. Shout out Fort Polk, son. All right, yeah. Chip McIntyre. And gang, buzz, buzz, got buzz, a king or sting it for you, flossing. Now, I heard Brennan say he don't ever floss. <laughs> bro, <laughs> you got to floss. You get some stinky shit out from in between your teeth. Now, what? Bro, you got teeth like you a can crocodile. My grill. <laughs> <laughs> What's this dude you talking about? DR, <laughs> His teeth look like crocodiles. Oh, we got them hitters, boy. Boy, don't bite me. 
He's got that four three T. He's got that four three defense. Gang gang buzz buzz like baby. Prevent gang defense. gang baby. He's got that. He's that goal line defense for front teeth. Two linebackers in the back. Everybody up front. He's got that five two boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm running look, that look at w- that. Oh damn! He has that wishbone <laughs> offense for oh, the bottom does, two. Bro, he does. That's that wishbone. <laughs> oh bro, that hike. That's Ron Dane there in the distance, bro. Taking that fucking. He has six tailbacks, bro. <laughs> Dude, you go you go to the wrong place in L.A. You throwing up gang signs. You smile like that, bro. His teeth throwing up gang signs. Bro. Oh, bro, bro. That back tooth went. You know what? Everyone else. You, you dude. Know. He looks young, too. He looks like Dennis the Menace. I'm telling you this, bro. This dude. Uh... <laughs> so he's just saying, floss it? Well, let me tell you this. Asan Ahmad, whose dad is a fucking NASA rocket scientist, yeah. and mom Fuck is a dentist. That. His mom's like one of the biggest dentists in the goddamn nation. Biggest issue. dentist biggest. in the game? <laughs> shut it down, dog. Yeah, bro, shut it's it down. It's tooths. You know how hard, easy it is to fucking... Dude, listen, though. She said... Okay. She's an expert, homie. Uh-huh. And she said flossing really doesn't make sense. Really? Yeah. Also, I don't floss. Look at his teeth. <laughs> well, look, bro. Dude, he can floss with my shoelaces. <laughs> what are we talking no, about? Nah, dude. Uh-oh. He's got definitely... It looks like, you know, you could play... Like, a, a team could have a good... Uh, you could play paintball like within his grill. He's got that wild grill, bro. But that's that bad boy right there. Who cares, bro? Some people have teeth that are <clears throat> real straight. Fuck them, son. Dude, Show up you and have fuck them teeth, up, bro. Huh? Let me see your teeth. I've had. You got de- some work done. I've huh? had some work done. You though, got that yeah. Hollywood fucking hitter. Well, I got the. Uh, you got that fake front. I got the Invisalign's a long time ago. Yeah, whatever. Because bro. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat well because I put food in my mouth and it would come back out. You know, and it was uh, because I had all these gaps in my teeth, but now I have... Are are they real? Is that bone or are they chiclets? This is bone, baby. Oh, really? This fucking God's fucking white work, son. This is enamel. ivory, baby. This is enamel, son. Yeah, that elephant ivory for Dude, if I go to Africa, you could. I'll look behind and be a couple people with a net right behind me. Trying to kill you. Back the fuck off. Back up, bro. Trying to get these bad boys out of my face. Trying to get them tusky tusks. And I'll say this right here. We got a beautiful fucking Scottish guy right here. Hell yeah. Dude, where he's from, you can't even... If you have nice teeth in that country, they'll fucking take you down. They'll beat you down. (laughs) Bro, bro, I'm not even saying you can't have... uh, Don't bless Scotland. I'm I'm not mad. I don't think he's from Scotland. I'm not mad at shitty teeth, though. You know what I'm saying? If that's your thing, make sure you're unique. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have shitty teeth than a fucked up mug. Oh, that's fucking Dama Unique Wilkins right there than this little guy, bro, because that's the most unique dude I've ever seen. What I say floss, you got to floss, man. You like probably, it probably takes him six hours to floss those teeth. Bro, it's so easy to floss. He could probably just, you know, chew on a piece of string for a couple minutes. <laughs> that's a good point. Just, like, toss a bunch of fucking string in his mouth. Oh, definitely, man. Even silly string, he could probably fucking spray a batch of it into his mouth. And I bet it... he, could put a, he could chew on a slinky, and I feel like you'd be all right with those teeth. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I'll king it, bro, and thank you for the submission. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> all right, this one's from Sophia Wax of Salt Lake City, Utah. Wow. Okay, Sophia. Hey, Brendan, it's you. Damn, girl, why are you whispering? Sophia. Okay, can you uh, start it over and turn it up a little bit, please, bro? I haven't... Uh, sure. Heard a woman's voice in a while. Go on. <laughs> oh shit, no, dude, get I'm not your boner it up. I'm, out of my face. I'm chilling dude, out. Dude, get yep. your Stanford boner out of my Thank fucking you. grill. Don't be okay. Start right there. I was wrong. Oh, start it over, man. One more time. Yeah. Are you an angel? So Are you an angel? Hey, Brendan and Theo. What's up, girl? This is Sophia. Okay. Out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Shout out to and Mormons. I had a singer king it question. Damn, mm. damn, girl. Girls that shave their head. About to make oh, old girls. Theo busting his pants. I actually did it a few years back. Oh, let's Kept see. It for a couple years. Oh, let me see. And I liked it, but it's not for everyone. Um, really appreciate you guys. Love your content. Makes my days a lot. Well, you just made Theo's better. Day. Um, I'm actually a chemist, so sometimes I have long hours in the lab. Ah, damn. Ah, I got a boner. <laughs> Give it up to the wow. boner Don't fucking bros. touch me when you have boner a boner. Bros. There's no boner, bro. I thought you had one. Yeah, you do. I don't. I fucking caught That's you with your Stanford you boner, bro. These pants are hard in the front. God it's the material. It, dude. They put oh, they have wood in the front. What is that? The sexiest woman in the world? <laughs> She's a chemist? Jeez. God damn. What are you trying to do, guys? Who put her in here? I don't what know, dude. What are you trying dude. to do? Trying to make me and Theo fucking come in the studio? Yeah, dude. What we the fuck, There's bro? actually a, a thing on the wall that says we're not allowed to do that. Yeah, it says no coming. <laughs> yeah, bro, dude. And I'll say this. What are you, a chemist? What are you mixing up? Straight up boner sauce? <laughs> <laughs> because I think I caught a couple hits of it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. Like a, that boner poison, I'm like, bro. damn, dude. One of my ribs just slipped down into my crotch God because damn, I don't know girl. what's going on what down here. you mixing here. fucking love because I am fucking in. Oh you know what I'm God. saying? She what are you making over there? You're a damn. chemist? 
Uh, are you an angel? Damn, God, that's sexy, <laughs> oh, dude. Christ. That voice of fuck, man. Oh, she I said. I forget the question. What she wants to shave my head? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Whatever you want to do, I'll come to. I'm in Utah uh, any day now. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, you can shave my head. <laughs> Is that you, what she wants? Dude. And pour fucking acid on me or some shit as a chemist? I don't care. Whatever you want, girl. Brendan will be in Utah coming up soon, dude. And it ends with a WL. He'll also be in... Uh, no, I don't, I, I'm not there for a while. I don't know when I'm there. <laughs> He'll also be in Alabama, A-L-L-B-A-M-A. Alabama? Brendan's in all types of, of dude. unique places in America. That's a chemist, though, bro. Yeah, I can't hear the question. Look, but you can <laughs> shave Brendan whenever you want. Bob, Bob, Brendan, sheep. You can shave me and Theo. Yeah, and I actually need the top of my back shaved. So uh, I don't know what your question is, but yeah, yes, yeah, man. King it. Yeah, whatever you want. Take my money. <laughs> wow. All right, debate club. First one is Brandon Cooper from Knoxville, Tennessee. Gang, gang, out of Brandon Knox. Here. What up, Brandon? What up, Theo? What up, Brandon? What's up, player? I am super hungover, and I need to know what is a better hangover cure. Pedialyte <clears throat> or the big brown roast? Buzz, buzz, baby, that fucking roast, deal. You need to grow up. <laughs> you need to grow up and quit watching Saturday morning cartoons and drinking Pedialyte like a fucking pedophile. Pedialyte is a sexy what? hitter. It has different flavors. What flavor does something called Big Brown Black Rifle, first of all, which sounds like a hate crime. Black okay. Rifle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you have a black rifle these days, it doesn't sound like it's for shooting everybody, bucko, okay? So if you like that fucking hate crime hitter, then get that black rifle. But if you want something soft that kids will come around here, have kids a little... Kids come around? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? You, Michael Jackson? No. You know who else loves Pedialyte? The fucking Neverland Ranch. That's who had tons of Pedialyte. Dude, where are the Neverland ranchers? That's what I want to know. You always hear about Jackson. <laughs> oh, they died. Nuh-uh. Yeah, yeah, they killed them. The people, I don't know. Wow. I don't know. But where's the guy on the horseback with a rope? You know what I'm saying? That's wrangling these kids. Where are the Neverland ranchers? <laughs> the employees. That's a good question. Pedialyte, Big Daddy, but don't have too much of it. It does have a lot of sugar. I learned that. By like, a lot, a ton. I had to fucking inform Theo here mm -hmm. that he's drinking all sugar and Pedialyte. I it's good four. for kids. If you're a grown man, a little weird. A yeah. little weird. I think some sort of warning to the FBI should come out if you're buying two or more bottles from the store. Yeah, don't drink it As in your yard. Man. I would say drink it indoors. It's an indoor sip or Pedialyte. Don't drink it in the yard where people can see you drinking it because they don't feel the same way you do about it. Bro, now that big brown roast, though? Yeah. Dude, I made that myself, bro. Fired them beans up. Did you really? Yeah, bro. Oh, wow. Each batch. Ooh. Yeah, son. Now, I heard it's that real hitter. People that come out on the road say that Big Brown Coffee is good. It's legit good. Yeah. I just think the term black rifle is... You're focused on the wrong thing. You're right. <laughs> That's probably a good point. It sounds like good coffee. Uh, but I'll say, look, man, if you do get the Pedialyte, I think they have a sugar-free version. So you can get that daddy gone. No, I drink the real thing if you're going to drink it. Fucking king it, black rifle. Hell yeah. All right. Wow. Next one. Your buzzer sounds like a woman trapped in a well that you hid in a closet. Yeah, it does. Jesus. It sounds like a woman's dunk contest. <laughs> what do we got? All right. Benjamin Martinez. Oh, Yo, me. what to do, Rat King and Bee Sting? What, what up, up, brother? Buzz. I like the shaved head, son. Corona, California. Got a debate for you guys. Under boob tattoos versus old school tram stamps. Ooh. Most can be hot. Some can be not. Let me know what you think. Much love. Love Gracias, Benjamin. Dude, have you ever seen a under... Titty oh, tattoo yeah. and not just like, they got damn. a little bit of titterature under there. Ah, you lift dude. it up and have a little Bible sentence or something. It's like you finding know Waldo, saying? baby. Just fucking lift that titty up and boom, that nice art piece underneath the tit there. Oh, yeah. Anytime I see, listen, tramp stamps have never, listen, everybody, and you have one, never, <laughs> ever have been cool. Tramp stamps have never been cool, ever. I In like any world. I like them. I like tramp stamps because you, you see that tramp stamp, you're like, oh, that lady, you know, sometimes it's a coat of arms, a fam familial coat of arms, respecting the family. Sometimes it's a, you know, a falcon or something. You know you have a good stamp. Night. I like you that gramp stamp, night. too. If your grandfather has a fucking gramp stamp on, Dude, dog. the gramp stamp's pretty dope. You know, he's got a fucking black rifle on him. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> he's probably a real wildcat. But I'm saying this, man. I think that under
other boob tattoo, man, because it's almost like those Dove chocolates. You know, you get those Dove chocolates, and then sometimes they put a little riddle or some words of positivity on there. Sometimes you lift up a tit, and it says, you know, do your best or something, you know? Yeah, it's, it's almost like a fortune cookie, but of humans. Yeah. You know when you crack open a fortune cookie, and they give you a nice message? Mm -hmm. Some girls have that on their tits. Well, let's go abroad real quick and find out about fortune cookies. Kat, can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, there you go. And they are an American This treat. is me dodging racism right okay, now. Okay, well. I, uh, sorry. I fucking hate fortune cookies. I am obviously um, racist, and I want to apologize, too. No, but it's a legit question. I would have went okay, more with thanks. Chin. There you go. I went more with Chin, though, on that. Well, really? Chin does, I don't know if Chin looks really, like, uh, ethnic to me. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, he looks kind of you older. Me? He looks I older smile. or younger. I can't tell. Sometimes Shane is like fourteen or like fifty-eight, but <laughs> he looks. He looks like maybe he was he in a like fire. A Fifty-year-old man. Yeah, you might. But then right. he dresses like swaggy, you know. So it's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> his anyway, thing can is we stop definitely being... not trap. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not tramp stamps for God's sakes. But if you if you do find a young lady or man with a tramp stamp, you know you're gonna you got a wild horse on your hands. Oh yeah, they're growing up though. They go and anal. The tramp stamps are getting bigger. That's the problem these days. You know, like uh, they they don't have them that much anymore. I don't. Think. I think tattoo most tattoo places are like nah, we don't do them anymore. Well, they're let's go, so lame. We're not doing them. Anymore. Let's go to well, let's go to cat again for the younger generation. Are, 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 are women doing tramp stamps? Are you seeing these these days, or no, is that? I see more uh, underboob tattoos. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos, cat? Yeah. Where? Under boob. <laughs> The side boob, uh -oh. boy. That rib under boob. That rib, boy. That's fucking rib. That rib hitter, bro. And Cat got it. Oh, dude. Dude, fucking then side boob all day, bro. I'll go side boob, yeah. You got a boner. But I uh, respect those tramp stamps. What's I the fan say? Yeah, I forgot to do the hangover cure one first. Unbelievable. That is Fired. 63% Pedialyte. Fucking haters. They are yeah. haters for sure. And the tramp stamps is 86% of course, under bro. boob. Of course. That's an easy one. Yeah. And I want to apologize for the racism, but know that it could occur again. <laughs> yeah, it's in your blood, though. Uh, what else we got? There's a couple pints, though, that are a little bit ornery. I know. Yeah. This is Forrest Morrison from New Orleans. Forrest Morrison. What's up, Brennan and Theo? This is Forrest coming at you from Gulfport, Mississippi, and I'm a graduate of the St. Paul School for Boys. It looks like he's on the Starship Louisiana, Enterprise. Theo's from. Anyway, Jefferson I used to live Avenue. in Los Angeles, and I'd love to move back, but the problem is that a micro one-room apartment costs about 1500 a month. Where are you going? Now, I saw Dirt Nasty got himself a little Winnebago, so I started looking at all this van life stuff on Instagram, dope. and I ended up copping myself a little van. Oh, dope, wow. bro. As you can see, it's got a nice little kitchen and a couch. And it even has a nice little S hitter in the back. Oh, that shit hitter. So let hitter. me know what y'all think. Wow. Studio apartment versus van life. Oh, Get dude. Oh, bro. Dang. Oh, fuck. Whoa. 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 <laughs> he said, oh, fuck. <laughs> this At guy's great, end, bro. Buddy, gotta look out. Got Apparently, the... he doesn't use those tissues on his nose. It doesn't seem like there's a yeah, lot of... <laughs> no, little uh, sticky icky there. A lot it? of seed milling about in the room. Um... First of all, what's up, Forrest? He did. He graduated from St. Paul's School for Boys and actually had a pediophile back then in the day. Uh, this dude, Slangenstein, that used to work there, and he ended up coming over to our school and tried to... Uh, Is that elementary or middle school? This was high school, oh, dude. High school. I'm not getting molested in fucking elementary school like some fucking loser. Sorry. What I'm saying is, this was later <laughs> on, and... Um, and this man, anyway, I knew a pedophile from there. Okay. And he came to our school. Oh, damn. That's cool, man. So anyway. So you guys connect on that. But he was also a cool guy, man. Both he took me, to a, touch. took me to a Marilyn Manson concert. Oh, so, damn. Cool. My first the, concert ever. The and, pedophile did? Yep. And dropped me and my best friend off there, dude. He took one of my buddies to Las Are Vegas. Are you leaving some more of the story out? Or? I don't remember uh, anything yeah. else. Yep. You know? That's crazy. The beautiful it? people, the beautiful people. Oh! <laughs> and he was just grabbing cock. Oh, man. Oh. Dude, and that's when uh, when Marilyn cut, used a bottle and cut open his drummer Ziggy or something. That The ambulances came and took him to the hospital. Damn. Cut him up with a bottle right on stage. Damn. It's fucking awesome. Bro. That's back when they really meant it. Yeah, yeah that's when rock was <laughs> yeah. rock, you know? Yeah, dude. That's when Not this other shit. Nah, that's his bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see Ariana Grande fucking tighten Frankie up with yeah, a little fucking... Yeah, let me fucking... see fucking Bruno Mars fucking bite a bat's head. You ain't yeah. doing shit. I'd love to see Bruno Mars just fucking pipe down fucking, you know, Larry Saturn with a blade or Hell something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Larry's, that's when people work hard. Shout out to Larry hard. Saturn, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see Ariana Grande fucking maybe take a sword to little Frankie Grande out there on stage tighten things up. Keep the music, that life, bro. Keep the music real. 
Uh, what was his question? <laughs> yeah, though? what was his question? <laughs> this guy's been masturbating. Is, is, is studio the... apartment versus van life. Van life, bro. Van fucking life, especially that van. Get your cum rags cleaned up though before we jump aboard. But well, I'm, I'm not mad at the micro van. Yeah, I'm not mad at the Go micro van. You want. That's that Simon Rex. That's that dirt nasty style, man. I do think with that van, you got more opportunity to mill about. And now in LA, though, you always could be in traffic. But at least if you're in traffic, if you get stuck, take you're at nap. home. But take a nap. Take a you're fucking on the 405, nap. Take a nap. Wake up. Traffic is gone. Actually, really a great idea, man. You live in Compton. <laughs> you go to the beach if you want. Head up north to San Francisco. Yeah. You don't have to go home and take a shit. You can just shit and just just floor it. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, you can take a shit and floor it. The problem is that Winnebago's going to smell like shit, though, you know? Yeah, but if you, you keep just the wind... on the windows. Yeah. yeah. So, man, I like, you... I like the micro van, bro. You've solved it, man. You can go anywhere you want, man. You're living, brother. Yep. You're living, I'm, brother. And I'm glad you're taking King and the Sting with you out there, man. I say... What was the question? <laughs> King the micro van. Yeah, it's not, I say it's King. It's a debate. It. So you, go, you pick the studio apartment or pick a van life? Van life, van bro. Van life, man. All right. Pick up some lot lizards on the way. Audience says studio wow. apartment 70%. Haters. Hating that. Trying dude. to stay in one spot, I see. Knock, knock. Who's there? An advertisement. Bro. I hate to say it. You out you outdressed me today for the first what? time. Yeah, you look good. Thank you. You man. look good, man. And guess what? Did you hire a stylist or something? No. A Hollywood stylist? A Twillery, man. What? Yep, because everyone needs shirts, and I got this swaggy up top hitter. You need a shirt, don't you? I do, man. I need one that looks like that because that looks comfortable, fits good. You even, dude, is it untuckable? Huh? Yeah, it's okay, untuckable. Okay, what is man. happening right now? It's untuckable, man. Twillery shirts are comfortable, easy to care for. They look great and they fit perfectly. And guess what? Save more when you bundle them, man. Get a hundred dollar shirt for fifty five dollars when you buy in bulk. You need a bunch of shirts. Might as well get bulk, baby. Tailored fit means you always look your best. Look at you, dude. You look slim. You look fit. You look good. I'm untuckable. Yep. Twillery has tailored shirts. They send them directly to you. So you just kind of pick out what you want to like. I love it, man. Go ahead. Unwind, unplug, and most importantly, untuck. Life's too short to be all tucked in and uptight. Forget that, man. Yeah. You look oh, great. what's wrong? I, something, I feel so uncomfortable. I, uh, someone help me. King of the Sting listeners, be like Theo. Get $25 off your first shirt by going to twillery.com slash cats and enter promo code cats at checkout. That's twillery.com slash cats, K-A-T-S. Enter promo code cats at checkout. That's right. Imagine a box of shirts comes to you. You pick out the ones you like and keep them and send back the ones that you don't. That's Twillery. Get your swaggy on. Yep. Go to twillery.com slash K-A-T-S and enter promo code K-A-T-S at checkout. Time to pay the bills. Awesome. Dude, I just used Postmates the other day. Uh, I use Postmates every day, bro. Do you really? Every single day. Wow, man. Yeah, I love Postmates. Yep. Other Would than you... your absolute best friend, if you really had to answer this, who would who, who could you ask to bring you red wine at 4 p.m. or sushi at 9 p.m., that late night fish, or a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m.? Dude, friends don't ask friends to do that. That's why you hit up Postmates. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you can think of delivery service all year round, 365 days. That's right. Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery. Dude, you're watching that bad fella. Uh, Scoot it on over. Can't wait, man. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. Mm. They're the largest on-demand network in the known universe with more than 25,000 partner merchants. Think about all the food. Now think about it being in you. How's it going to happen? Postmates. Get it. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our King and the Sting listeners $100 of free delivery credit Dang. for your first seven days. You got to eat fast. You got to eat real fast. <laughs> to start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use code KATS2019. That's code KATS2019 for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Yep, get anything you need, anytime you need it, Download Postmates and save with code KATS2019. Support the podcast. What else? Our next one is relationship advice. First, oh, here shit. we go. First one up is Nestor from San Jose. 
It's Great Nestor. Name. Nestor. What up, Theo? What up, Brendan? <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. What um, up, buzzy, buzz? buzz. Quick relationship advice because I'm Mexican and come from a very traditional big Mexican family. Mm. And mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend's white. Um, oh, and whenever decker. I go home, you know, to visit my family, I love to bring her along because I really want her to grow close to my family, and she does too. Sure. Um, However, there is, you know, the big barrier of language because my parents don't speak very good English. Preach, bro. And she doesn't Spanish. Yep. So, Brendan, I know your girlfriend's Mexican and comes from a pretty traditional family. I was wondering if you guys ever, you know, faced that language barrier, and if so, how'd you guys overcome it? Thank you guys so much. Theo, see you this weekend in San Jose. Gang, gang. And gang, Nestor, thanks Yo, for coming bro. out, man. I hope you had a good time, brother. <laughs> yeah, uh, shout to Nestor. Because we were just taping this right after that. Um, yeah. This is for you, B. Go on. Uh, let me tell you something, bro. I've been with my girl for a hard six-ish years. Her family is straight off the boat. Seis Mexico. años. At, when I mean straight off the boat, I mean they jumped the wall, yep. Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Like real Mexicans. All her family's still back there in Guadalajara. Yeah. And uh, they're here now. <laughs> and... Uh, Listen, my house is like a goddamn... I'm, I'm a refugee in there, man. Yeah. I'm the only one who doesn't understand Spanish. I'm sure they're talking shit about me. Solamente no espanol. Yep. Zero. Zero. And listen... I'm around it all the time. I'm talking, I am consumed with Mexican shit. I got Telemundo on my goddamn TV. It's a relief when I get to see other white people si, and, talk, si. and speak my Personas. native tongue of English. Yeah. It's a real gift for me. Yeah. And I'm going crazy at home, man. This is almost a sh cry for help. Yeah, I don't know Spanish, man. I've been around for six years. My brain just goes, nah. What? <laughs> nah. You're too old. <laughs> nah. Wow. Also... I can't stop my life and learn fucking Spanish either. What do you dude? mean? Stop I can't your stop life. my life and learn Spanish. You don't have to be anywhere. I know. I'm, dude, Rosetta Stone tried it. Nothing. Dude. You know what I learned in Rosetta Stone? Huh. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, but still. Bueno. Well, you... No bueno. C. <laughs> si. No C, si, he said the other day. <laughs> Instead of no, he said no C. Si. Brendan is absolutely one of a kind. Um, Look, man. My son talks shit to me in Spanish. How do you think that <laughs> feels, bro? Awesome, yeah. A three-year-old talking shit to me. Going, puto. Help the guy with his puto problem. Madre. I'm like, what the fuck is he saying right now? Quit complaining and help the guy with his issue. Oh, here's the thing. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. Just zone out like I do and slang that dick, bro. What? Yeah. You, what you do is you eat that good, you you feed her that good Mexican food and hope mm -hmm. she jumps on board. But if she doesn't, just keep bringing her around. Just stare off at the ceiling and eat fucking chili con queso. <laughs> Okay. It'll work out, bro. Yeah, it'll work, it'll out. work out, bro. Also, no. it's almost nice because they know I don't speak Spanish, so no one talks to me at these gatherings. Yeah. I speak for a living, <laughs> so it's kind of nice. No one talks to me. I just eat my fucking queso and my fucking sopas and pozole, <laughs> and I fucking zone out, man. It's actually... The dream. Now they say it Gordo out loud. gringo, they say. Yeah, bro. Um, look, man, I think it's brave to take a white person into a fully Mexican household, man. This shit sounds adventurous and exciting. Also dangerous, though. Yep. Don't forget that. Peligroso. Yeah. I want to be Mexican next time. You know, I've already stated that. I'm ready. I'm 100% <laughs> ready. I'm reincarnation. And then... Um, Dude, you were speaking Spanish to my family a little bit. Really? I love Spanish, they were, man. They were impressed. <clears throat> hey, and keep your fucking hands off my uh, mother-in-law, dude. <laughs> I saw the way you were looking at it. Mi manos? Yeah, mi manos. <laughs> no, señor. Señor. Donde, uh, donde es mi manos? Donde está? Where are my hands? <laughs> She's very beautiful. Um, okay, sorry. And that was Chin. Uh, Chin, don't don't chime in like that. Sorry. What I would like to say is, uh, good luck out there, man. I think it's I think it's it's brave what you're doing, and uh, get that lady in there, man. You got that white girl, bro. Bring her in there. Teach her the ways, bro. Yeah, Feed get her, her a little the food. Yeah, get her a little uh, primer or something, a little sheet or something, tattoo or something else, under boob of a little bit of uh, education, you know. Teach her the ways, the Mexican ways, educator. Yep. Drop a little culture on her ass. Yeah, man. Then drop oh. that queso, baby. Yeah, right. man. Good luck, brother. Put that fucking brain salsa in her. You feel me? <laughs> All, right. All right. Next one's Andy Rupnik. What up, Bee Sting and the Rat King out here asking for some relationship advice. Gang. I have a lovely wife. Love her very much. Sure. Came from a conservative family. Yeah. I came from the opposite. She hates anything to do with smoking. Um, especially the greenery. Sounds like a real L7. Got that greenery here and there. A always G. keep it away from her and the family, though. Nice. You know, I'm doing it on my own time. Ah, bro, and live your vape truth. Too. Vaping's a lot. And so, yeah, that's just an issue that's always on the shelf with us. So uh, I just kind of am sticking with my ground, and she's standing her ground not, you know, still not liking it, and I'm going to still keep doing it. Uh, I guess we kind of deal with it. But, yeah, it's a, I guess it's an issue, a relationship issue. So what would you guys do in a situation like this? 
Cheers. Yeah, bro. Oh, Dude, no. live your truth, bro. Oh, hit that. Suck it in, bro. Suck. Suck. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, bro. That's a hell of a pull. <laughs> Here's sexy. the thing, bro. Yeah, what's sexy? You got to live your truth, man. Yeah. Also, is your wife a 45-year-old librarian? Who's not down with marijuana these days? It's legal in most spots. Also, states, they're called. Go states, on. but at most spots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spots, bro. Yeah, buddy. But here's the thing. Um, <laughs> are you Cheech and Chong? Yeah. Like, can you not live your life? Like, yeah. are you smoking nonstop? <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking Rogan without the success? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? Yeah, man. It's like, uh, I don't know. Actually, what do you think, Chin and Cat? What do y'all think about this one? Why don't you guys chime in? I have no idea. If they don't like it, then, oh, well. Break you don't up. stop. Yeah. I'm saying is if it's affecting, if you're showing up to every function high as fuck, you got yeah. a problem, dude. Don't but if you're, just, if you're just fucking smoking that devil's lettuce at night and watching fucking Scooby-Doo and eating Doritos, laughing your ass off and farting and shit, mm -hmm. dude, live your life, bro. That's called a good time where I'm from. Now, there is something special about sneaking off from your family to do drugs. Yeah. And I've always thought that, man. I used to be at family functions and I'd sneak off and huff a little paint or do whatever we had in the garage. Garage, you felt you know? like Mission Impossible, didn't you? Oh, if I didn't have weed or something, you know, or beer, I'd sneak off into the garage and just get a little bit of a garage high, you know, just huffing whatever was out there, you know? And Kiddo style. Roll back in and have a couple pieces of fucking cake and watch some NCIS with the parents, you oh, know? yeah. And that was fun. I love, there's nothing more fun than being high around a group of people that doesn't know you are and then talking to them and continuing to talk to them. Well, that sounds like a nightmare for me, but yeah. Yeah. You got high this weekend. Can you tell me that? Yeah, I got high this weekend with uh, freaking uh, Derek and uh, Asan. Someone, <laughs> someone brought us some weed, and our, our hotel was haunted. And I slept with the lights on Friday night, and I thought Saturday night I'm going to sleep with the lights off because grown man, <laughs> quit being a pussy. But then I smoked this weed, and it was that good Milwaukee shit. Oh, that yeah. That fucking Fear the Deer weed. That mill weed. Dude, that fucking Greek the Freak weed hitter. Ooh. I took that thing. I got super scared in my room. Did yep, you? Didn't sleep very much at all. What were you scared of? Ghost. Yeah. The, the ghost. The, the ghost. The ghost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the ghosts. I didn't get any sleep, bro. I could see you being scared of ghosts, man. That's fascinating. Um, don't Kat, you, what don't do you, you think you should live its truth, though, Theo? Yeah, look, I just think it's fun to sneak off from your family and get high. So I, I think doing that is a fucking hoot, you know? Keep a little weed in a garage. Keep a fucking dime sack out, you know, tape it into the top of the mailbox, you know? Like, I think doing something like that, hiding drugs in your car and, you know, get copping half a gram while your wife's in there, you know, thinking you're just on a commercial Shit, break from the TV. Rob a bank. Yeah. Do that, dude. I on think your off ha time. having some secret fun is fun. And so I would just keep it a secret, though. It's when you have this weird thing where you need her to know that you're doing it and you then you're just creating controversy. So you, you think know? you just lie and hide it? You're a bad dude. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you should just be like, hey, bitch, at night, I like to smoke some weed. <laughs> yeah. I'm living my life. Yeah. It's not affecting me. We're not doing anything. Hola. I just smoke in the back. Yeah. Hola, hola, perro. Uh, yo prefiero marijuana en la noche. Mm, boom. <laughs> hey, uh, Kat. That means yo, bitch, does, does let's your, smoke some does, weed at does night. Does your man smoke or do any drugs? Yeah, tell us about it. No. I just found out she has a titty tattoo, so I'll, I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at Kat a little different. Yeah. I didn't know that. I know. You asked her about fortune cookies. Yeah. Remember well, that? Yeah, that's what I call tits, bro. Oh, dude. Nice That move, fucking huh? Stanford education. Don't touch me. Oh, what were you yeah. saying, Kat? No, no drugs over here. Um, you never done drugs? Not a fan. You ain't living then. Fuck what do you mean, not a fan? Uh, not a fan. I've tried it. Which ones you try? Just weed. Yep. Just weed? It fucks me up. Yep. I'm like Chris Tucker where I want to like run away from people. And mm, they, yeah. No, I can't do it. <laughs> mm. That's hide and go seek. You got that free hide and go seek with yourself, you know? Yeah, that shit's fun. You don't need other friends. PTL, baby. Praise the Lord. What's next, Chen? All right, next one's flaunting my aunt. And if you guys want to know What happened to your fine ass aunt, Yeah, we're well, fine the fuck, ass bro. fucking, huh? She hasn't been <laughs> DMing that, both of you guys like constantly. I don't know, bro. I haven't seen little, it though. <laughs> that chinchilla, where's she at? She's, still, that little... she's still happy in Texas. Oh, she sounds like she's having a tough time with her man. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think she would gladly go on dates with both of you guys any, oh, wow. any oh, minute. Shit, any I'll second. be in San Antonio in <laughs> three months. Crazy. I don't know how far that is from Miss Chin and Chin Chin. She's, but I'll tell you where I'll well, be. I'll be your uncle, bro. I'll be in. She's uh, down. She's down for anything. Oh, wow. That's all okay. I know. Wow. <laughs> Wow. She's a wild Down woman. Down for anything? 
Bro, well, now I'm not into it. Ken throwing her, <laughs> throwing his hand under the chuss over here. You gotta I'm trying to chop it up. I'm trying to get that beef brisket in San Antonio and a <laughs> fucking know. taste of chin a chin. That barbacoa. Yeah, you know what I'm bro. saying, bro? We trying to tighten up. <laughs> a fucking Korean barbecue in San Antonio. Yeah, that yeah, meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is salami. <laughs> what the hell? Toast these buns. Huh? Yeah, man. What like were we that. talking about? Come on, Jim. Uh, like my own. This is from my own. Jesus Christ. Hey, if you guys yeah. want to know little details about them, I have a few things. Yeah, I'd love some details. Let me <laughs> see this hitters, fan, man. bro. All right, this is Aunt, Ooh, woo. Aunt, Aunt Cindy. Fuck yeah, it is. She sold tires all her life, Aww. but she's retired now. She posts at least two pictures a day to Facebook and enjoys the outdoors. And Judson is who the who's a submitted his aunt. Judson. Dude, shout out to this lady. Sell, you know, selling tires ain't an easy job. I used, my brother used to work at a discount tire. I mm-hmm. worked there for about two days, got fired. Not my thing. I can see but that. With, yeah, not my thing. Um, but with her, you know, would she win a fucking cannonball contest? Probably. <laughs> Probably, if I had to guess, would yeah. fucking murder that contest. She got them Martinelli's, boy. She's looking pretty fly, I think, man. Yeah, she looks. She got that swaggy one piece on with the dress in the front. Looks like she's had some good years. You feel me? <laughs> and that's Aunt Cindy, and she's fucking dropping twenty twos on fucking thugs and fake thugs around town, and hopefully highballing them and making a couple extra bucks for herself. You Hell know? yeah! I hope she, she has a pool. So that's nice, and they got a kid in the pool. And who do, who is that? <laughs> that kid's looking like Kevin Spacey a little. Yeah, it does look like a little Kevin Spacey back there. That's like I'm, that white I'm, Jordan. That's yeah. like that crying Jordan. <laughs> that's just that, that fucking swimming Randall. Zoom in on that swimming Randall, Chin. Let me get in there. Dude, that, she looks pretty dope, man. That's swimming Randall right there, <laughs> looks bro. Like my brother. Is that a ghost? <laughs> yeah, it might be a ghost. That's or is that, that just a really white of. kid in a pool? And why Here's, is it just his head? Where's his body? Look, I'm glad that Aunt Cindy, you know, she worked hard and she retired and she's spending time doing things she loves. She's Slanging smiling. that rubber, bro. Oh, yeah. Slanging that rubber. Dude. She looks like she won a belly flop contest or a cannonball. Oh, she I wouldn't want to be in the same competition. She ain't right afraid now. to get out there. Hell no. I bet you she know. can fucking, what do they call it, a uh, jackknife. Remember the jackknife dunk? Yeah. Remember that kids were doing the pool? Oh, yeah, that jackknife. Fuck, that was dope. Yeah, I, I mean, I would let her fucking do a full body flop on the me. Hell yeah. And she's a beautiful lady. Thank you, Judson. Is that his name? Yeah, Judson. That's insane. Shout out to Judson's aunt. All right, this one is Grandma Mitsui. Oh, I don't trust her. Okay. She is uh, 85 years old. I don't trust her right now. It's in the eyes. Fakes her heart attacks to get rides in ambulances, and she Told likes you. to paint. Submitted by Daniel from Maryland. Shout out to yeah. Daniel. Uh, she likes to paint. Hold up. She fakes. <laughs> hold up. She fuck the paint. She fakes heart attacks so she can get attention. She, that's, that's, a a homeless trick. that's a homeless thing. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> they get fucking IVs and fucking meth. Oh, she no. looks um, like a charming woman. She's 85. 85 years old. With wow. Asians, you don't know. Dude. But she still takes care of herself. Look at her. She's very, uh, she has a, uh, you know, she has an attractive look. She takes care of her she's hair. She's flexible. She has a sweater. She's f- clearly flexible the way she's bent down. You know, both knees are not That's true. giving up yet. It's a Filipino squat, they call that. <laughs> yeah. And she also. We call it the Philly squat. They do? Oh, yeah. I like that. And they also, if you look at her, she's obviously very, you know, she's simple to take care of. She doesn't require a lot. She's wearing a Santa hat and also opening up a bag that has an extra Santa hat in it. You know what? Now that I look at this, I, it, it bums me out a little bit. I think this is kind of a sweatshop scenario here. When's the last time you saw so Ooh. many colored Santa hats? She looks scared. She has a whole fucking bag full of different colored Santa hats. Mm-hmm. That's only in China where that happens. Yeah, it does look like Dress Down Friday, too, because she's kind of wearing whatever she wants. Casual but still, Fridays. But still doing but work. But still working. Mm. Dishing out. When's the last time you saw a blue? What the fuck you do with a blue Santa hat? That's some <laughs> Chinese shit, bro. It's different times, bro. Times have changed, man. Santa's, you They're know. They're paying her seven cents on the Got his own ideas. Hour. Yeah. Shout so out I to the Santa. She's doing okay. Yeah, I hope yeah. she's all right. And that's a grandma, not an aunt. And thank you, Grandma uh, Mitsui. Keep faking oh, them Mitsui. hot attacks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, corazon violencia. That's how you would say that in Spanish. Oh, well, thanks, dude. Yep. All right. This is Uncle John. And uh, he tried to rob a bank and was shot several times. He's dated several models in other countries, AKA, he got catfished. And was 100% the person who took this picture. Mm, sounds like old John's a liar. However, <laughs> uh, pretty awesome. That Da Vinci Code book, he rented that from the library? Why is there a barcode on the back? That's a great <laughs> question. 
It looks definitely stolen because libraries stolen. are closed. And he's also using a selfie stick to take this. Yeah, very alarming. I'm going to go out on a very short limb that's not even a limb. It's the truth. And say, look, man, if this is one more troubled stepdad reading the fucking Da Vinci Code and trying to hit on fucking Russian models on the internet. Save it. Seen it way too many times, Pop Pop. Cry me a river, unk unk. Yeah, and he's got that Paul, He, you know, he obviously got that Paul Bunyan hitter he's wearing from the fucking Paul Bunyan catalog for boys. Boys and troubled men. Dude, also, you're batshit crazy. You don't think he's on the FBI's most wanted list. Look yeah. at this uncle, bro. He thought it was like most wanted, like that mean women want him, and that's why he got on the list. He's, just, he's just getting catfished every day he's, by the FBI, yeah, by, the, by FBI, the government, yeah. Facebook. Yeah, just yeah. just confused. If you don't Thinks think, he wins money all the time on the <laughs> yeah. fucking internet. If you don't think this guy's fucking been uh, wiretapped, you're out of your mind, bro. Start fucking living, man. But he seems like a good guy, man. He's getting some rest. You know, it's obviously that he's healthy. You can see his arms and no track marks. He has a book in front of him. Uh, also, the other way to view this, it might be the first dead person we've had submitted yeah, for Rip My Drip. Point, dude. There's that. Yeah, There's yeah. that. Yeah. It's Flaunt My Uncle. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, this is Flaunt My Uncle. What else you got? All right, so that's it. Is he dead? Look He's at He's dead. It's the first dead person we've had submitted. He does look and dead. shout out to dead people, man. They're people too, you know? Yeah, them ghost makers, baby. They got, you know, ghosts have to start somewhere and they don't start from the living. Cemetery alumni, shout out to them. All right, that's All right. it. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's up, bro? Fun Not episode, much, man. man. I had a good time. Did you? I had a great time, man. I appreciate your services. Thank you, man. Services. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. Nuh-uh. I don't either. I just, okay, I just good. don't know where I'm at. Finally, and I that'll hold up in court. I don't court. know where I'm at, bro. Let's make sure we got the audio on that. Uh, I'm in Washington, D.C. this weekend, brother. Are you? I'm in Washington, D.C. Uh, only show not sold out is Thursday. Wow. Friday, Saturday, uh, four shows sold out. Thursday, get your tickets, tfak.com. And I'm in Phoenix. Next month, I'm in Phoenix Stamp Live. Weren't you just there? I'm there uh, this weekend. I'll be at Stand Up Live. Boom. And, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And my mom and brother are going to come, man. I do. Congrats, They're be in man. Town. Don't Thanks, fucking man. touch me. Don't tell touch your mom I said what's up, me. Tell She's your mom never I said heard of you. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell her. She'll be like, who is that? <laughs> no, like, she'll be like, no oh, one. I love that guy. We'll see. Yeah. Actually, she has, I think, watched King and the Sting, but she said she didn't want to comment on it, is what she said. I know. So. My mom doesn't watch it. She's like, I can't. She's I just can't. Yeah. My, no one knows what I do. Uh, um, so oh, dude, anyway, how about, uh, I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, my the, and then I'll be in Kansas City the next weekend, and we're adding a late show. Sorry, oh, good Brendan. for you, brother. On Sunday, though, right? Yeah, we're adding a late show on Sunday. In Shout Kansas out to Kansas City. City on Sunday. I'm uh, that one hour or not one hour. My comedy bit on uh, this not happening airs Friday, eleven Pacific. Oh, nice. Comedy, comedy Central. Central. Oh, first stand up, show. first stand up that people are going to see that haven't come to my show. Ooh. And they edited a 20 minute bit into seven. So we'll oh, see how this goes. Good for you. That means you said there's 13 minutes that people won't have seen. That's good. You still Special own it. drops May 17th, though. Showtime. Wow, coming up quick. I know, bro. I'm nervous. Damn. We'll figure it out, man. Uh, you got to fucking start my heart? Yeah, I do have a start my heart, man. I got reminded of it during this episode. We had the uh, the young fella hit in from Fort Polk over there near Leesville in Anacoca, Louisiana. And I remembered that. I went to prom there. They had a girl I met at student council, this girl named Fuck Samantha yeah. Dewey was her name. Dewey? Oh, dude. Dewey, Dewey. Do we love her? Yes, we do. You know, she was Dewey, just Dewey. the most stunning girl I'd ever seen. I met her at student council. Oh, and then describe her. She looked like... Compared I mean, to a celebrity. She had eyes like a falcon from like a... Ooh, the beady kind? No, no, no. Like a rat. Like a very wise, beautiful falcon. Oh, like, like an owl. No. Eyes like an owl. No, like if you had like a fine ass falcon, you didn't even believe it was a falcon. It was just like a really attractive. Piercing blue? Yes, piercing Oof, blue. That preach. was it. Keep going, bro. Um, she had beautiful eyes and she had nice hair. She had long hair. It was all her hair. Had a dumper on her? I don't remember all that guy. <laughs> Dewey Let's... didn't have a dumper? <laughs> well, hold on, dude. <laughs> So anyway, I went to prom with her, man. I went to this small school, and I, sh I drove five hours. Did a bar to friend's car, got up there, and went desperate. To oh, oh so god, desperate. dog! Five hours for Dewey with the dumper, <laughs> dude. I fucking Pamela Anderson her prime was like, "Hey, drive five hours, and I'll suck you off." I wouldn't drive five hours. <laughs> You're a different man now, though, Theo. You've come up, bro. Well, I haven't, bro. <laughs> Don't fucking. And touch this me. is back when five hours was like ten hours, dude. This yeah. is back when cars only went about forty-five miles an hour. <laughs> and so, super. Thirsty. I got there, dude, and then we had a blast. Man, we had a beautiful, just a regular. Her dad was in the military, so they let me stay at their house. The family did, but at the end of the night, when we got back home. 
We had to be home by like midnight. And um, and the dad let me spend one minute talking to her in front of him before uh, we went to before I went had to go sleep in the room that I was sleeping in. The, the dad was like, "Yeah, one minute, tell her what you want to tell her, then get to your fucking room. Yeah, keep your dick in your pants. Oh, yeah. Well, there was keep no- the snake in the cage. Jesus. There was nothing profane going on at all. It was chill. How old were you? <clears throat> 18, 17? No, I was like fifteen or sixteen. Man, I was young and barely had gotten even to know my dick. Wow. You know, uh, so shout out to her. Well, Dewey? Anyway, here's what happened. <laughs> uh, I just found shout out, out to the to prom. <laughs> yeah, I, <didn't> know. <laughs> I just found out like a month ago. She passed away. She passed away from cancer a couple of uh, months ago. I didn't know about it. And uh, but that kid made me think about it, man. But she was like the highlight of my high school was that I got to go to prom with this beautiful young lady. And I know she had like a, she has a family in Houston and some children. And uh, it was just heartbreaking to hear. But um, anyway. The, you know, uh, just remembering her uh, just started my heart, so. Uh, not where I thought that story was going to go. I um, was trying to get to the end of the story. You could have been like, chill. <laughs> hey, Brennan, chill on the Dewey dumper stuff because she passed away. You can literally could just be like, hey, just chill a little bit because okay. she passed away before you start making fun of this. I tried ah, dude, to give you help, signals. Help me out, man. Be I my looked, John Stockton. I went like. You're Carl Malone dating Dewey. <laughs> okay. Give me a fucking heads up. Well, you're over there rebounding when there's not even a shot in the air. You're, you're out right. of your mind, You're bro. right, bro. But give me a heads up. Well, shout out to Dewey. Shout out to Samantha Dewey. We'll see you in heaven, young lady. God, see you in heaven, Dewey. I don't know where to go from there. Jesus, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told that start, story. My start, my heart. I didn't mean to tell. I didn't know I, I was going to tell don't, it. Yeah. I'm all disfit. My Just, start, my heart was the blind girl from American Idol. Shout out to her with one eye doing the damn thing. She had one eye or blind? <laughs> she's blind. <laughs> okay. Well. And she's doing it. Huge difference. She's fucking doing it, man. You know? No. Now, does she make it to the next round? I don't know. I watched last night. Her performance was iffy, bad song choice, but she has she's blind in one eye and the other's sketchy. It's it's a foggy. And she's doing it. So shout out to her. What I song did she sing? I can't follow this. What? What song did she sing? Do you remember? Um I, the Star Sh- Spangled Banner. I don't know. It That's was an all, it was easy awful. fucking song. No, the no, Star no, Spangled Banner. She didn't sing Banner. that. I wish she sung it. It was awful, dude. It was awful. Why not sing the Pledge of Allegiance? Could you fucking make it any easier, bro? Well, here she. Her name's Shay. Shout out to Shay, American Idol. Shout out to Dewey. Now I feel like a dick. I'll see you guys on the road. I'm sorry I shouldn't have brought it up, man. I didn't. No, it's all good. Hit it. It's the king and the stain.